Good evening to you, friends. I'm Greg Merriweather. Boy, it was just mass chaos today as officers and deputies tried to contain a massive brawl at a Baton Rouge alternative school today. There's new reaction tonight, and plenty of people say that there was blame to go around on all sides. This involved nearly 200 people. School board leaders are now calling for accountability across the board. Our Perry Robinson's in the Alert Center with new rea reaction tonight. Perry. Hey, Greg. Leaders say this situation was one that should have never happened. Should have never happened. And they are working to make sure that every person involved is, of course, held accountable. It was a downright ugly scene at the EBR Readiness Alternative School. Units 97, please come up to the school. We still got multiple fights taking place. Investigators say it all started when the fight between a group of girls got out of control. That's when multiple parents and even adults who lived near the school showed up. And some even decided to jump in and fight too. Security had to call for backup after they said they were attacked. Three cops had to go to the hospital, including one with a broken hip. What happened this morning, uh, what I, I would say is an eyesore to everyone. School board president Darius Landis says a lot of things went wrong. And if you're being fully transparent, nobody is saying that that wasn't wrong doing on behalf of everybody. One video that's been widely circulated shows a student's head being knocked into a brick wall as a deputy tries to arrest him. Deputies say that same student, a 17-year-old, had just punched that deputy in the face and tried to bite him. Lannis claims officers have to stop a student from bringing a gun on campus just hours before any of this happened. The things that people don't see is that a gun was almost brought onto that campus and got inside of the building today. What you won't see is that one child actually had a metal chair and either chased after a police officer or another child. Landon says everyone has to be held accountable, specifically the parents. Well, these incidents become even, they grow and become something even more is when our parents come on those campuses and instead of removing those kids off of the campus so that we can restore order, we're finding that parents are also engaging inside of these fights as well. And I understand you want to protect the child, but there's a time and a place for which we can do that. And it's not inside of a school campus. It's not on a school campus. The East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office plans to do a full investigation on the deputies involved. If there was any wrongdoing that took place today, you're hearing this from me first. If there was any wrongdoing that took place today, we're going to get to the bottom of it. Whether that happened on behalf of law enforcement with a child or with a parent and a child or a parent and a parent or a parent in law enforcement, we're going to investigate every single thing because we want everybody to know that this is a fair and balanced system. Was it done properly? A lot of things could have been done differently, but we're going to operate from the space that we're going to do better. And that's our message to the community now. We're going to do better, but we need you all to work with us. Well, at last count, 10 people have been arrested, including parents and students. Investigators say it's possible even more people will be arrested as they continue to review surveillance and other videos of the fights. Greg, back to you. Well, just so disheartening. Thank you, Perry. We appreciate it.